Hey there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would just kind of sit down and maybe talk a bit about how I'm planning on surviving the second lockdown in the UK. For this video, I did try to make a little bit of a setup. So I've got my little things up there and some plants here. Uh, if it looks awful, just know that I tried. Since the second lockdown was announced, I've kind of been feeling a bit of anxiety towards it. So I was trying to explain something and I realized that I did a really bad job at it. So basically, because over the last few months, restrictions have slowly been decreasing, I think we all got this optimistic feeling that life was gonna go back to normal. So to then be told all of a sudden that life isn't fine and we're going back to how we were, it's really intimidating and kind of disheartening to suddenly realize that the illusion of life getting back to normal was a lie. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like, giving a kid a chocolate bar that isn't even that good right and then once they have it in their little hands snatching it back and going you know what never mind that's that's how i feel about the situation and i do know that a lot of people will be thinking well i already did this i'll be fine which is true you will be fine but i also know that there will be some people like me who are kind of freaking out and worrying with that being said let's just get right into it i've written some little notes down and i'll just talk you through what my plan is so my first and probably most important point is to be kind to yourself. It's probably very common to feel anxiety, stress, depression, just all of these things during this time. I feel like it's very important to just kind of realize that you deserve to feel that way every now and then and to not beat yourself up every day for feeling bad. My only advice with that is that when you do have a bad day, accept like, yes, I had a bad day and I'm just gonna let it go. And then at the end of the day, sit down and think to yourself, how am I gonna make the next day better? So maybe that'll be going for a walk or calling a friend, just something to kind of separate that bad day. Because I feel like it's very easy to have a bad day and then let it just become a bad week. And then the next thing you know, you've just spent it, the whole of lockdown feeling absolutely awful. Another thing with that is to not put pressure on yourself to be productive every day. I feel like everyone kind of learned this from the first lockdown that it's kind of impossible to be productive every day in this sort of situation because again you're going to be feeling a bit weird every now and then and that's okay and you're allowed to take days off. So my second point is to keep your leisure and work separate. So when you're working from home, it's very easy to let that merge into your leisure time as well, up to the point where you don't even get leisure time. I feel like calling it leisure time is really strange, but I'm, go I'm gonna stick with it. I do this a lot where even though I'm not doing work, I'll be thinking about the fact that I'm not doing work. And when I'm supposed to be doing work, I'll end up doing something for fun instead. My advice there is to keep them completely separated. So no working in your bed, no working anywhere other than your workspace. For me, that's my desk. That is the place of torment where I do my essays at four in the morning and my bed is where I play video games and sleep. Another thing that you can do to help with this is to actually plan out your day. So one way I would suggest to do this is to just write down a list of everything you want to get done work-wise and then once everything on that list is done you can do something for fun and not hate yourself while you're doing it. Another way to do it is to actually set out specific times for when you're going to do work and then when you're going to do something for fun. For example back in high school I used to spend 30 minutes doing some work and then 30 minutes doing something for fun but you might prefer to spend longer doing one thing and then the other it's really up to you I think it's really personal preference I suppose this is kind of a third point to keep a journal or plan something like this just so you can kind of keep track of the days because I've definitely lost my perception of time in lockdown. In one moment it'll be Monday night and the next time I re-enter my body it'll be Sunday morning and the whole week will be gone and I won't know where the hell it went. So I feel like keeping some sort of day tracker is really useful. So a good way to do this is to use a little planner like this. <laughs> um, I really like these weekly things, they're kind of just scrap paper that you just plan out your week and then you throw it in the recycling bin and it's done. Uh, I do also have a bullet journal but I like to write in that at the end of the day rather than in the beginning and I can be a bit scruffier in this. This is definitely something I need to do more of because I do think it helps. 
So my third point is to go outside. Going for a little walk every day or just going for your weekly shop can really help to break up the day, especially if you're not in your own home. So you might spend a lot of your time in your bedroom like I do. So it can start to feel quite isolating if you <laughs> why was that <laughs> so yeah it can start to feel quite isolating if you have a dog that's a great excuse take them for a walk they'll love you for it so that's even better <laughs> if you can't go for a walk for whatever reason just going out into your garden will work or putting your head out of a window whatever it takes to get some fresh air every now and then will really help oh and as always um, make sure you take a mask with you if you do go out just in case you need it my fifth point is to remember self-care. So I would definitely say to remember to have a self-care day every now and then. Put a face mask on, chill out, watch some TV show that you want to see. Just really take care of yourself because this is a time when you really need to. So just to add to this, by self-care I don't just mean face masks and bubble baths. I also mean just taking care of yourself in general. So that includes basic human needs along with trying to make life feel as normal as possible so to help that i would recommend getting into a routine and sticking in it so it helps to you know get up have a shower get dressed i know that that since lockdown started i've spent most of my life in jogging pants and jumpers but when i do actually get dressed it's a nice feeling so it's just little things like that to try and make life feel a bit more normal and structured you you are your own pet you need to water yourself you know you don't water your pets <laughs> but you know what i mean another thing with that is to not punish yourself for not being productive by not doing self-care. I'm really guilty of this. I'm not sure if it's a depression thing or if it's like an actual thing that people do, but I will tend to hold self-care hostage instead of doing work. So just to elaborate on this because I don't think I explained it very well. So when I talk about self-care in this sense, it's basic human needs. So showering, food, drink, sleep, stuff like that. So when I get into one of these things, let's say, a video needs to go up. I'll be editing my video and I'll need a shower, example. And I'll say I cannot have a shower no matter how bad I need it until this video is done, no matter how long it takes. I think it does link to mental illness, so I'm not expecting anyone to just fix themselves. But yeah, my little solution is to reward yourself at the end, not with basic human needs, but maybe with a little chocolate bar or a video you've been waiting to watch, something nice that you can look forward to rather than something you have to suffer to get. <laughs> Which kind of links to the leisure and work separation because you not getting work done should not correlate to your well-being, okay? Like, you deserve to shower. So yeah, if you needed to hear that, there you go. Don't make yourself suffer. That's all I'm gonna say on that because I, I don't know if this is like something that most people don't do. Number six is to stay in contact with your friends and family. I feel like it's so easy to just peace out during this time. Make sure to call someone at least once a week, especially if you're on. If you're not on your own, spend time with the people you're living with, you know, don't isolate yourself in your room. If you are on your own, make sure to call people, um, FaceTime, Zoom call them if you have to. Just make sure that you talk to somebody. Also, if you're struggling with your mental health, call your doctor or somebody else who can support you. If you need help, make sure you ask for it. Also, if anybody wants to chat or needs some support, I'm always here. You can message me on Instagram or something like that. <laughs> but uh, seriously, um, don't be on your own. Don't suffer in silence. That's, yeah, don't do it. So my seventh and final point is to maybe take up a new hobby. So don't link this with productivity because it's supposed to be more of a leisure thing really only do this if you have time or you just find yourself bored and you want something to do. It doesn't even have to be something new, something that you've been neglecting or maybe something that you already do a lot of. I'd say watching a TV show or a movie that you've always wanted to watch counts. Just, I'm just thinking something to kind of occupy your mind and keep you busy and to stop you from wallowing on meme accounts for hours. Just little things that you can kind of work on without pressure. 
the idea is that there is no <laughs> pressure on it. So yeah, I think that is all I wanted to say. If you have any tips or tricks or you want to talk about how you're going to spend your lockdown, comment them down below and you know what, it might help somebody. It might help me. I might need a little bit of support. As always, if you liked this video, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new here and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Also, I hope this video helped somewhat. If it didn't, I'm really sorry. Wallace in Fonio, Lipites on What is that? Oh, it's filming. <laughs> My voice is deeper. I'm being like choked out, like fully choked out. It Okay, I'm gonna restart this point because I don't know what the fuck I'm on about. Why can't I speak English? <laughs> I'm struggling right now. This is definitely something... Just live your little life and be happy. That's my advice. <laughs>